Boba Fett, was a human male crime lord and former bounty hunter whose career spanned decades, from the fall of the Galactic Republic to the end of the rule of the Galactic Empire. Originally code-named, Alpha, he was an unaltered clone of the famed Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett who raised the boy as his son. Boba emulated his father and genetic donor by wearing a customized suit of Mandalorian armor. His personal starship was the Slave I, A, F I R E S P R A Y 31, class patrol and attack craft that once belonged to Django. Trained in combat and martial skills from a young age, Fett was one of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy during the reign of Emperor Palpatine. He became a legend over the course of his career, which included contracts for both the Empire and the extensive criminal underworld. After living among the Tusken Raiders of Tatooine for a time, he took over as daimyo of Mos Espa during the era of the New Republic. Boba was created on the extragalactic planet of Kamino as a result of an arrangement between the Sith Lord Darth Tyranus and Jango Fett, a Mandalorian foundling who served as the template of the Grand Army of the Republic. Unlike the clone troopers grown from Jango's DNA, Jango regarded Boba as his son. During the last days of the Separatist Crisis, Boba and Jango retreated to Geonosis where the latter was killed in battle by Jedi Master Mace Windu. Orphaned by Jango's death, Boba sought vengeance by attempting to assassinate Windu, although his plan proved unsuccessful. After serving time in prison on Coruscant, Fett took up his late father's profession as a bounty hunter, working alongside other mercenaries, such as Bosk, Dingar, and Asajj Ventress while also notably apprenticing himself to his father's infamous brief protege, Cad Bane. In the aftermath of the Clone Wars, Fett continued to make a name for himself while working for the gangster Jabba Dazilich Tiore as well as the Sith Lord Darth Vader. During the Galactic Civil War, the bounty hunter managed to track down Captain Han Solo to Bespin on a contract for the Galactic Empire, before delivering him to Jabba's palace on Tatooine. During the journey, Fett stopped on the moon of Nar Shaddaa in order to make sure Solo would survive his time in Carbonite, but he lost the smuggler while he was away as part of the return of the Crimson Dawn, kicking off a war between bounty hunters for Solo. Ultimately, Fett regained Solo and delivered him to the impatient Jabba. Fett tried to prevent Solo's rescue by the Alliance to restore the Republic only to fall into the Great Pit of Carcoon when the smuggler accidentally slammed a pole into the bounty hunter's jetpack, causing it to malfunction. Although Fett survived his ordeal with the man-eating Sarlacc, his armor was sold to Cobb Vanth by Jawa Scavengers. Following a time in the company of a Tuscan tribe, Fett eventually regained his armor by tracking down and confronting the Mandalorian warrior Din Djarin on Tython, who took Fett's armor from Vanth. After helping Jaren to rescue the foundling Grogu from the clutches of Moff Gideon, the ex-bounty hunter returned to Tatooine where he killed Bib Fortuna and claimed the late Jabba's throne as Daimyo with Fennec Shand by his side. Now the head of his own Gotra, Fett intended to rule the territories of Moss Esper by winning the people's respect, though he would face several major challenges to his position owed to the two-facedness of Mare Mok Shuri's such as the twins' bid for power and the expansion of the Pike Syndicate's spice trade. Ultimately, though, Fett overcame all obstacles, including a confrontation with his old mentor, Cad Bane, and emerged victorious with the help of his associates, gaining the appreciation and approval of Mos Espa's denizens. <laughs>